Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde Oguntade. I'm live and direct in my Detroit, Michigan family. I'm live and direct in Detroit, Michigan. Happy 98th Black History Month celebration. Happy 98th Black History Month celebration. Happy 98th Black History Month celebration. I want to say good Garvey Day to my continental Africans, my Mozambique Africans, my Madagascar Africans, my Senegalese Africans, my South Africans, my Lesotho, Basotho Africans, my Togolese and Benin Africans, my Zambian and Gambian Africans, my Congolese Africans, my Central African Republic Africans, my Cameroonian Africans, my Chadian Africans. Oh, yes. My Burkina Faso Africans, my Mali Africans, peace and Pan-Africanism. Happy 98th Black History Month. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde Ogun Tade. See, I got the King Kong consciousness rocking the Ogun. I got the King Kong consciousness rocking the Ogun. Two birds with one stone. I got the King Kong consciousness rocking the Ogun. I'm a son of Ogun. You know that means war. I'm a son of Ogun. You know that means power. I'm a son of Ogun. You know that means strength. I'm a son of Ogun. You know that means vitality. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Toronto and Montreal Africans. I'm right across the Detroit River from Canada. I'm right across the Detroit River from Canada. I'm right across the Detroit River from Canada. I will see my Canadian Africans June. I believe it's June 21st and 22nd. I'll be with my Toronto, Canada Africans for the first time in over 10 years. It's going down tonight at Nandy's, Nandy's Knowledge Cafe in Highland Park, Black History Month program. There's going to be some performances and I'm going to give some words. I'm going to give some words of consciousness, some words of motivation, of inspiration, of education, brothers and sisters. Every time I open my mouth, if my words don't educate, motivate or inspire, I have failed you. I said, if my words don't educate, motivate or or inspire, I have failed. Y'all want to see all my Detroit African brothers, strong African alpha males. No bunny hoppers are allowed in Nandy's Knowledge Cafe tonight. No bunny hoppers are allowed in Nandy's Knowledge Cafe tonight. I want to see all my Detroit queens tonight. Come give me my hugs. Some of y'all couldn't get into the Kwanzaa lecture because it was jam-packed. So come give me my hug. Give me my renovation completion hugs. I want to see all my Detroit thickums. Come on out, ladies. Come on out. Come on out. Tomorrow is Kalamazoo. That's all males. Can't have no women at Kalamazoo at Western Michigan University. Black male symposium. All brothers report to the University of Western Michigan tomorrow in Kalamazoo for the black male symposium at 530 tomorrow. And then Flint. If you can't make it tonight, I want to see you in Flint, Michigan. My sophomore visit, my second visit to Flint, Michigan will be Wednesday, February the 21st. And we're going to talk about El Hajj, Malik El Shabazz. Kwanzaa, I talked about the ballot or the bullet. Kwanzaa, I talked about the ballot or the bullet two months ago in Detroit. In Flint, Michigan, on the day Malcolm was executed, the day Malcolm was murdered and killed, the great Pan-Africanist, son of the Garvey movement, El Hajj, Malik El Shabazz, we're going to big up Malcolm in Flint. Who coming out to Flint, Michigan? Who coming out to Flint, Michigan, Wednesday night, 6 to 9, free lecture, free lecture. It's going to be a black parent advocate book release in Flint. I don't have any books for Nandy's. I don't have any books for Nandy's. I couldn't get the books to Nandy's, but I do have books waiting for me at Western Michigan University in Kalamazoo tomorrow, and I have books waiting for me in Flint, Michigan at the Flint Development Center. Where are we going to eat at in Flint? That's what I want to know. Where are we going to eat at in Flint? We're going to eat at in Kalamazoo. Where the after party in Kalamazoo? Kalamazoo Africans, where are we going to do the post meet and greet with Dr. Umar tomorrow night? Post meet and greet with Dr. Umar in Kalamazoo. Or do I need to come over to Lansing? Where are my Lansing Africans at? Maybe I need to come on over to Lansing with my Lansing Africans. Or maybe I need to drive to Grand Rapids. Where are my Grand Rapids Africans at? 
Where my big rapids and my grand rapids Africans at? Is the water any good in Flint? Can I drink the water when I get to Flint on Wednesday? I'm talking to my Flint, Michigan Africans. Can Dr. Oguntade drink the water in Flint, Michigan when I get to Flint on Wednesday? Is the water in Flint, is it good now? Is the, did they repair the water in Flint? I'm talking to my Flint Africans. Do any of my Michigan Africans know if the water in Flint is any good? Do any of my Michigan Africans this is the Prince of Pan-Africanism coming to you live and direct from downtown Detroit, across from the Detroit River, across from Canada. And I'm asking my Michigan Africans, does anybody know if the water in Flint is good for King Kong consciousness to drink? Can the son of Ogun drink water in Flint? That's all I want to know. This, they said Barack Obama took a drink. They said Barack Obama took a drink of the Flint punch. Did, did Barack Obama really drink the Flint Kool-Aid? Did President Barack Insane Obama, did he drink the Flint Kool-Aid, brothers and sisters? Sister Key Mignon said, Key Mignon said the water is good now. Sister Key said the Flint water is good now. She said the water is good, brothers and sisters. Where my Joliet Chicago Africans at? Where my Joliet, Illinois, Chicago, Africa is. I want to see y'all Friday night at the banquet. If you need the link to get your tickets to the banquet Friday night in Joliet, Illinois. I want to see all my Illinois Africans this Friday night in Joliet for the banquet. I'm going to see all my Illinois Africans this Friday night in Joliet for the banquet. We will be at the Republic Banquet Hall, 113 Republic Avenue in Joliet. Republic Banquet Hall, 113 Republic Avenue in Joliet. For more information, if you want to be a vendor, you got some questions, 815-768-9791 for the Joliet event this Friday. 815-768-9791. That's 815-768-9791 for Joliet, Illinois. If you want to be a vendor in Joliet, it's going to be banquet. Wall-to-wall -wall soul food in Joliet, brothers and sisters. Big Papa going to get his grub on in Chi-Town. Big Papa going to get his grub on. I'm thinking about driving to Chicago. I got my flight booked, but I'm thinking about driving from Detroit to Chicago on Thursday. The event is Friday, but Thursday, I want to get to Chicago early so I can go to some black businesses in Chicago. Where my Chicago Africans at? Where my Chicago? I'm thinking about driving into Chicago early and going around to expose some black businesses and black organizations on my Instagram. Chicago, are we planning a Democratic Party Protests. Democratic National Convention is in Chicago, Black August. The Democratic National Convention is in Chicago, Black August. The Democratic National Convention is in Chicago, Black August. Are my Chicago Africans ready to shut down Joe Biden, the Congressional Black Caucus, and the Democratic Party in Chicago? It's now or never Chicago. If we miss this opportunity, Chicago, the migrants will clean us out. Chicago better show up and show out. The whole black America better be in Chicago for the Democratic National Convention. When we show up and show out and shut it down, just like co-founder of the Black Panther Party, Bobby Seale. He shut down one of the political conventions in Chicago. Bobby Seale shut down one of the political conventions in Chicago back in the 70s. Chicago, what we gonna do? Is there a meeting Thursday night in Chicago? Is there a meeting Thursday night I can pull up to in Chicago? Is there a meeting to discuss the migrant crisis in Chicago Thursday? Is there a meeting? to organize the Democratic Party convention shut down by the Chicago black community family. If there's anything going on in Chicago Thursday, I need to know about it. Friday night, all roads lead to Joliet. Monday, all roads lead to Guadalupe. Where my French speaking Guadalupean Africans at? 
Where my French speaking Guadalupean African? Can't wait to see my Guadalupean queens again. Can't wait to see my Guadalupean queens again. It's been almost a year. Lower Marion, I'm gonna see all my Lower Marion, Kobe Bryant Africans next Thursday, last day of Black History Month. I'm gonna see all my Philadelphia Africans on Germantown Avenue for the Black Comedy and Consciousness Bash on Friday, March the 1st. I'm going to see my University of Massachusetts Africans in Amherst on Saturday, March the 2nd, University of Massachusetts Black History Program. I'm going to see my Coppin State Baltimore Africans, my HBCU Coppin State University Baltimore Africans on March the 13th. I'm going to see my HBCU Morehouse College and my whole Atlanta family at Morehouse on March the 18th. And I'm going to see my Florida A&M University family, my Florida A&M University family. The Prince of Pan-Africanism is coming to Tallahassee for the first time. The Prince of Pan-Africanism is coming to Tallahassee for the first time, brothers and sisters. But before we get into that, I'm going to get ready to go over to Nandy's in a few because I need some of them wings and fish. Queen Mother Nandy, don't sell out the wings and fish. Queen Mother Nandy put my wings and my fish to the side. I'm not playing. I'm not coming there just to talk. I need my wings and my fish. The Nandy wings and fish is excellent. The Nandy wings and fish. Only wings and fish better than Nandy's wings and fish is my mama wings and fish. But we got to choose some colors for the school. What color we going to paint the bathroom? What color we painting, brothers and sisters? What color we going to paint the, the office? What color we going to paint? The teacher's lounge. We got to get these colors together. I got a week to choose my colors, y'all. Do we want some grays up on the school? Talk to me. We talking about the Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey, RBG International. What color we going to paint the school, y'all? Each classroom should be a different color or y'all want the classrooms the same color. Each classroom should be a different color. We not painting the bathroom pink. That sound like Rainbow Gang. This is not a rainbow institution. I'm sorry, family. Do we want some of these blues up in here? Some of these blues? Talk to me, ladies. What about my brothers who got a little taste? You know, we the warriors. We don't really deal with the aesthetics. But if we got some brothers out there with a little bit of interior decorating knowledge. Do we want that Ogun iron? That Ogun silver? That Ogun gray? What we want? We want some of this tangerine? I don't know if we want to go to tangerine in the boys' school. Or do we want some of them lime greens, them bright yellows? Bright yellow. We're not going to paint the school red, black, and green because won't, won't nobody send their children, brothers and sisters. Remember, most black parents still scared of white folks. We got we to gotta move slowly. Most black parents still scared of white folks. We got to move slowly. What else we got? We got some more colors over here. That's some schemes. Somebody told me, a good sister in Florida told me, that you should do a light color with a dark color. What do y'all think about that? Each room should be a light color and a dark color. The hallway should be a light color and a dark color. What y'all thinking? Australia Africans, I'm going to see you in June. Paint the bathroom green. Why are you going to paint the bathroom green? Because that's the color of defecation. Why do you want to paint the bathroom green? Because that's the color of defecation. That's the color of vegan defecation. We not painting no boys school pink. I don't know why y'all keep talking about some pink. I don't know where all these pink, pink, pink pan Africanists is coming from. Let's go with the brown. Maybe we should go with the earth brown. Should we go with the earth browns? Should we do the inside of the school the same color as the outside of the school? Should we do the inside of the school the same color as the outside of the school, brothers and sisters? I tell y'all what, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea, brothers and sisters. Y'all want to go with the red, Shango red? Y'all want to go with some Shango red and some Oshun yellow? Earth brown? How about we just paint the whole school black? Do the whole inside black. What do y'all think about everything just being black for black power? What do y'all think about that? Can we do everything black for black power? Can we do everything black for black power, family? I'm asking y'all. I 
got five dates with the doctor coming up. We got five sisters loyal to the FDMG campaign who paid $500 for the date with the doctor. So, ladies, you got to come to Delaware or Philly, South Jersey or Northern Maryland. My date with the doctor, Queens, you got to come to Delaware or Philly, South Jersey or Maryland. Choose your restaurant. Dr. Umar is taking care of the tab. And I thank you for your $500 date with the doctor donation, which automatically qualifies you for the priority list of FDMG Paint Day. If you want to come paint with us Saturday and Sunday, FDMG Paint Day, right now it's priority sign up for all of my donors who have contributed at least $300. Y'all get first dibs on the 30 spots for the Paint Day team. If you have donated at least $300 to the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, text me your name, cash app link, PayPal link, the address from which your checks and money orders came so I can add you, verify your donations, make sure you're not lying, and add you to the priority list for the paint weekend. After Sunday, anyone who has donated can sign up for the paint day. After Sunday, I will be looking for those who have donated less than 300, but I wanna give those who have donated 300 and more priority. Refreshments will be there. We're gonna have some music. Somebody gotta bring some music. Catered lunch, the lunch will be catered, and we're gonna to go to dinner as a family to your restaurant of your choice, Saturday night and Sunday night. We're going to a family dinner. Saturday night and Sunday night, the 30 member paint team, where y'all want to have dinner at? Where do y'all want to have dinner at? Y'all want to drive to Philly and have dinner in Philly? Y'all want dinner in Jersey, Cherry Hill, another Cherry Hill mall scandal, another Cherry Hill snow bunny scandal. Y'all want to go to Northern Maryland for dinner? Where y'all? Royal blue and gold. I kind of like that, d -Lin. One classroom could be royal blue and gold. That's almost like a Yemon job. Oshun mix. Who's paying for dinner? I'm paying for the dinner. Paint weekend dinner. You will not have to pay for the dinner. All you got to do is get to the school. You do got to pay for your hotel or your Airbnb. Make sure you text me the address where you at. Make sure I know your room number at your hotel for safety purposes only, my brothers. For safety purposes only, my brothers. For safety purposes only. Stop being fresh for Carrie. Stop being fresh. I live for Carrie. No cookies, sisters. About consciousness now. It's consciousness over the cookies. It's politics over the punani. It's revolution. Somebody tap in. I got a few minutes to tap in. I'm gonna take a nap before I go to Nandy's. I'm gonna take a nap before I go to Nandy's. Who wanna tap in with the prince? Tap in one time. You look zesty laying in bed. Nah. You know what? You must be a part of that rainbow squad because I don't know about me laying in the bed got to do with that. You must be one of those rainbows. Your mind is all in the wrong place. That's okay because I'm working on a rehabilitation conference for all rainbow gangers. I'm working on an Afro rainbow gang rehabilitation conference. I'm working on an Afro rainbow gang rehabilitation conference and we also got those toast testosterone pills coming we got the testosterone pills coming anybody got a melon address for zaire wade anyway who tapping in who tapping in who tapping in Who tapping in? Who tapping in right now? Rainbow Rehabilit RBG Rainbow Rehabilitation Conference. Who tapping in?
Everybody declining to go live. They scared to go live with the prince who tapping in. I love you too, baby. Vamina, where you at, Vamina? I see you, gorgeous. Who coming to Morehouse? Who coming to Coppin State? Who coming to Western Michigan University? Who coming to FAMU? Who coming to UMass? Is my beard fake? Ain't nothing fake about me, sweetheart. Ain't nothing fake about King Kong. You hear me, girl? You hear me, girl? Ain't nothing fake about King Kong. Who, who tapping in? Let's talk some content. Who tapping in? Let's talk some consciousness. Issa Red Key. Oh man, we got, oh man, that's disgusting. That's absolutely dis disgusting. Oh man, man you disgusting, bro. We, we definitely got to have a rehabilitation conference. This is getting ridiculous. Do I support the light-skinned community? I support the African race. Do I support the light-skinned community? I support the African race. I love my light-skinned Africans, my dark-skinned Africans, my butter almond Africans, my butter pecan Africans, my cinnamon Africans, my fudge Africans, my sweet brown sugar Africans, my nutmeg Africans, my warm hot peanut butter Africans, my pineapple complexion Africans, my African lemonade, my African vanilla, my African pina colada. I support all Africans, family. I'm gonna slow drag four times tonight at Nandy's right before I leave. I'm going to tell her to turn the lights off because, you know, it get real dark in Nandy's. We're going to turn the lights off. I'm going to the to the dance floor. I'm going to the dance floor and I'm going to slow drag four times with four different thick queens. I'm a slow drag with a peanut butter queen. I'm a slow drag with a caramel queen. I'm a slow drag with a fudge queen and I'm a slow drag with a, a African vanilla, African lemonade, African sunshine queen. Oh man, this is disgusting. You, it's not even funny. You guys, that's disgusting. I feel, I mean, to say something like that out your mouth to another man is just, it's just disgusting, man. We we definitely got to take back black masculinity, man. It's not even funny. It's just disgusting. It's disgusting to me. Ki Mignon, Ki Mignon, what's good, Queen? You got to go. Where you going, Ki Mignon? Where you going, Queen? Where you going? Black people say I ain't black because I only got one parent. Okay, let me explain something. Any Negro telling you they not black because they only have one black parent, they are looking for membership in the Caucasian race. So to any mixed race African who, who harbors this fancy dream of being accepted by Caucasians when you have a black parent, you can forget it. Let, let me say this again. I'm talking to my mixed race Africans right now. The question was, what do you say to black people who say I'm not black because I have only one black parent? I say, good luck with your membership application into the Caucasian race. That's what I say. I say, good luck with your membership application into the Caucasian race. That's what I say. If you think you're going to get a membership card in the Neanderthal nation and you have a black mother, if you think you're going to get a membership card in Neanderthal nation and you have a black father, I think you might have you might have bumped your damn head. You might have bumped your damn head. Oh, they'll use you. They will use you 
against other Africans. And when they done using you, guess what they're going to do? When they done using you, my mixed race Africans, guess what they're going to do? When they done using you, stop being fresh, my ladies. Stop being fresh. You cannot come sit on me. Queen, stop. Stop. You can come dance with me at Nandy's tonight. You can't come sit on me right now. Okay. It's, it's, we, we, we not on that. We, we revolutionary. We, we folk, you can't come sit on me, ladies. No, we ain't going to do that. I don't even know how much you weigh. I don't even know how much you weigh. I don't even know how much you weigh. How you going to sit on me? I don't even know how much you weigh. But anyway, anyway, to my mixed race Africans, to my mixed race Africans, if you think think you're going to get an application to Neanderthal Nation because you only have one black parent, I can guarantee you your application into the Neanderthal Nation will be declined. They do not accept anybody as Caucasian who has an African parent. I don't care how hazel your eyes are. I don't care how pale your skin, how straight your hair. Once they find out you have an African parent, your membership in Neanderthal Nation will be voided. It will be voided. Stop being fresh, ladies. Ladies, stop being fresh. You can't, can't sit on me because I don't know how much you weigh. But anyway, brothers and sisters, have you hit the cash app today? Has anybody on? On here, hit the cash app today. Dollar sign FD is interracial marriage less worse, specifically if a black man with a snow bunny plan on not having children. Okay, let me answer that ridiculous question. Let me the qu question on the Instagram feed was if a bu bunny hopper marries a bunny and does not have children, is that a little more acceptable? No, it's not. Because although you didn't give her a baby, although you didn't give her a baby, although you didn't give her a baby, you gave her your bank account, you gave her your retirement, you gave her your livelihood, you gave her your melanin, you gave her our ancestors. The fact that you didn't have a child doesn't mean anything. She still economically raped your ass. See, she bent you over financially, my brother. She bent you over financially, my brother. She economically raped your soft ass. So no, it is no better. It is no better. Listen. You want to be a brown bunny hopper, yellow bunny, red bunny, brown bunny. Listen, no bunnies unless you get one of chocolate bunnies, one of those sweet brown sugar bunnies, one of those honey butter almond bunnies. But get you one of those African lemonade bunnies. Get you one of them extra five thick in the thigh bunnies. I'm thinking about getting me a white bunny rabbit as a pet we're going to get a white bunny rabbit as a pet at fdmg we're going to get a white bunny rabbit as a pet what should we call her what should we call the white bunny rabbit that will be one of the pets at the frederick douglas marcus car i need a name what do we call her ladies we need a name for the white bunny rabbit she will only be allowed in my office she will only be allowed what are we going to call the white bunny rabbit? Do we just want to call her Snow Bunny? Can we just call her Snow Bunny? Can we just call her Snow Bunny? Call her Karen? Katie? Heather? What if she's a bunny, but she was adopted by a black family before she was one? What kind of questions are these, first of all? What kind of questions are these, first of all? What kind of questions? He said, what if she was adopted and raised by black folks? You don't understand white supremacy. You don't understand white supremacy. You don't understand. Let me explain something to you, my African brother. Let me explain something to you. Just because she was raised by Africans, her DNA is Caucasian. Her race is Caucasian. The minute she gets a chance to run back to her own, she's gone. Didn't our grandmothers 
raise entire generations of white children on the slave plantation? Didn't our grandmothers raise entire generations of white children for the slave master? Didn't our great, 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 great grandmothers raise entire generations of white children on the slave plantation? Did they stop being racist because they sucked a black breast? Did they stop being racist because they got milk from a black breast? Did they stop being racist because a black woman washed them and dressed them and fed them and did they hair? Did that stop them from being racist? So if that didn't stop them from being racist 200 years ago, 300 years ago, 400 years ago, what makes you think just because she was raised by Africans, she's no longer? A European. You must be out of your mind. I think you'd already be climbed inside. I think you'd already climbed inside that jar of mayonnaise. I think you talk to me, my brother. You'd already climbed inside that jar of mayonnaise. What kind of mayonnaise was it? Was it Miracle Whip? She got Miracle Whip between those thighs, or do she got Hellman's? Was it Miracle Whips? Was it Hellman's, or do she got that veganase? Talk to me, my brother, my snow bunny hopping ass coon brother. Do she got helmets between those legs? Do she got miracle whip between those legs? Do she got the veganese between those legs, my brother? I think you done already went dipping in the snow. This Nick Roden already had a scoop of mayonnaise. He done lost his damn mind. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You know what's funny? When I be at the airport, right? When I be at the airport, the young Caucasian women, if they built like black women, they walk by me a couple of times to make sure I see they got a big butt. It happened today. It happened today at the airport. If she built like a sister and she know that's the King Kong of consciousness, she know that's the notorious RBG. She know that's the Prince of Pan-Africanism. She know that's the most relevant, requested and revolutionary black scholar on the face of the earth. If she built like a sister, she makes sure she walks by me. Sometimes they try to accidentally bump into me. They want me to see that they got the curves of the queen, but you ain't got that melanin. You ain't got that melanin. You ain't got that black girl magic. I don't care how big your ass is. You ain't got that black girl magic. No disrespect to the brown women. No disrespect to the yellow women. No disrespect to the red women. No disrespect to the white women. But you might have the curves of the black woman. You might have the hips of the black woman. You might have the voluptuousness of the black woman. But you ain't got that black girl magic. Oh, no, no. You ain't got that. Oh, no, no, no. You ain't got that black girl magic. You ain't got that. Trust me. You ain't got that melanin drip. You do not got that. That melanin drip, that melanin drip, that melanin drip is something special and only the black woman got it. That mitochondrial DNA, it does something different. It does something different to that honeycomb. That African honeycomb, if you ain't got that African honeycomb, I don't care about the curves. Anybody could go get a BBL. But if you ain't got that African honeycomb, ladies, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry. Nothing compares to the African honeycomb. Once you have some African honey, you're going to leave that mayonnaise alone. Once you have some real African honey, you're going to leave that. Once you have some real melanin drip from a real melanin sister, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Let's go on a date. Who want to go on a date? Courtney, you want to go on a date? Five hundred dollars. It's all about business, Courtney. Five hundred dollars. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG, Courtney. Courtney, where your five hundred dollars? Dollar sign FDMG or PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. What's my next question? What's my next question? Is Tarzan considered white? I'm not even going to answer that question. I'm not even going to answer that. Is Tarzan? I'm not even. Gonna, does a rainbow black man with a rainbow black man receive less lashes than a rainbow black man? But it's that's disgusting. I'm not even going. That's disgusting. That's abs. I'm not even going to. Nah, that's disgusting. That's, that's disgusting. I'm not even going to touch that. That's disgusting. Does it bother you that black celebrities don't support you? I don't know if I, I would say don't support. I would say don't donate because, because most black celebrities know who I am. And many of them, they send me supportive text messages and I talk on the phone to some of them. I'm not 
upset though because I know most black celebrities are property of the white power structure. So why would I be upset? Patrick James, what up, King? Good to see you, brother. Sister Aaliyah, Aaliyah, is that a bunny or is that African lemonade? Aaliyah, I need your racial identity, Aaliyah. Aaliyah, are you African lemonade or are you bunny? Is that snow bunny DNA or is that African? Shania Flame, is that African? I need my lighted complexion Africans to verify their race. I, I live for Carrie. What's up? I live for Carrie. I know you African, baby. I know you African. Dr. Umar, do you have a wife? Not yet, but I do have one. I'm going to say yes. I got one wifey. I'm going to say I got one wifey. I'm looking for the second one. I'm looking for the second wifey. She might be at Nandy's tonight. She might be in Flint on Wednesday. She might be in Joliet on Friday. She might be in Guadalupe. On Monday, she might be in Lower Marion next Thursday. She might be in Philly next Friday. Who going with me to Ghana, Gambia, and Senegal? I will have the information for Ghana, Gambia, and Senegal in Flint, Michigan. I will have the information for Ghana, Gambia, and Senegal in Flint, Michigan. I will be going over the full travel itinerary in Flint, Michigan, 59th Memorial of Brother Malcolm. You don't need to see her. You even either are her or you don't need to worry about her that's it that's the only options you either are the wife or you don't need to worry about the wife that's how that's going to work who going with me to africa 14 days and 14 nights i need me a corsa queen i need me a corsa my oldest daughter her middle name is in Zana. my oldest daughter her middle name is in Zana. i love my corsa my zulu my Swazi. With my South African queen. South African queens is fine. Somali queens is fine. My Ghanaian queens is fine. My Nigerian queens, Lord have mercy. I remember I was in Nigeria and it was so many beautiful chocolate queens. I just stood still. I couldn't even walk. We was in downtown Lagos and it was just, it was melanin drip all through Lagos. I can't wait to get back to Lagos. I can't wait to get back to Lagos. I'm too, too young for you, Dr. Umar. Yes, you are. 35 and up. 35 and up, I might make a minor exception if you extra mature and extra serious if you're in your 30s, but I prefer 35 and up. I prefer 35 and up. 35 and up. But let's get back to the consciousness. Y'all got any more questions? Let's get back to the consciousness. Jasmine, how old are you, Jasmine? 29 is too young. 29 is too young. Y'all got daddy issues at 29. I'm straight. 29 is a little young. Courtney is a snow bunny agent. Courtney is not a black woman. 44 from the UK. I love my UK queens. I love my UK queens. When you going on tour? I've been on tour for 13 years. My brother, where you been? What you mean, when am I going on tour? I've been on tour for 13 years, my brother. I've been on tour. Yeah, the sister is in their late 20s, got ADHD. Ain't no daddy at home disorder. They need too much attention. They got ADHD. Ain't no daddy at home disorder. Get you a nice 30-year-old brother. My 28-year-old sisters, get you a nice 30-year-old brother. You got to say big papa for them late 30s, early 40-year-old queens. You know what I mean? That black, black don't crack queen that be like 45 looking 28. Cookie jar, extra, extra fresh. Pass them on. Commissioner, what's good? Yes, sir. How you been, bro? Okay. Uh, I'm going to get there about six. Yes, sir. Maybe a little later. No doubt. No doubt. We're going to build, bro. We're going to build. 
Got you. Oh, oh man, I appreciate that, King. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that, man. I heard that. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. No doubt. Check it in, bro. All right. You just turned 39. I'll just stick with nephew and them. 39 is nice. 50 year old. With the 40 year old body, that'll work. 45 with the 30 year old body, that'll work. You said you 40 with an 80 year old body. I'm gonna pass on that, Ma. I'm gonna pass on that. You 40 with an 80 year old body. I don't even know what that's about. We might just need to put you in a home. We're gonna pass on that, sister. I don't know how you 40 with an 80 year old body. You got that Benjamin Button psychosis going on. You got that Benjamin Button. No, nah, they don't have to have kids. They don't have to have kids. Shania Flame, are you African or bunny? Or are you Afro Bariqua? Afro Bariqua. You can't be taller than me. No, you can't be taller than me, ladies. Can't be taller than me. Take the heels off when you're around me. If you get taller than me with your heels on, you're disqualified. I thought the Bob Marley movie was good. I thought the Bob Marley movie was good. I thought it should have been longer. It felt rushed. The Bob Marley movie was rushed, but it was good. They did hit on all the major points. Now, as far as you women talking about Bob Marley had all these women, listen, we are African men. We are not Neanderthals. We are African men. Man, ladies, we're going to have to have a conversation. Bob Marley was the king of reggae, and so he had a queendom. He was the king of reggae, and so he had a queendom. Y'all got to stop hating, okay? That European thing y'all keep pushing, that's not going to work. That's why I'm going to have two queens. How tall am I? I'm 6'3 and 3 quarters. I'm 6'3 and 3 quarters. How tall are you, my sister? How tall? are you my sister how tall are you stop asking me how tall i am i'm six three and three quarters how tall are you don't hate on that brother he did a good job playing bob marley don't do that y'all don't do that don't do that don't hate on him don't hate on that brother he did a good job i hope you're not a bunny hopper you five foot eight you skinny or are you curvy slim thick or curvy i like the slim thick to ask let it build to voluptuous. I'm right in there. I don't do the skinnies. Much respect to the full, full figures. I like that. You 64 years old. I'm sorry, Ma. That's a little too. Uh, that's a little too far. I'm, I can't do the 65. I can't do the 65. I can't do the 65. We got to find you an old school player. We got Come to Nandy's Knowledge Cafe tonight. Well, there ain't going to be no old school players in there. It's mostly going to be. Nandy's Knowledge Cafe is going to be like a 28 to 48 type. Five, ten, and slim thick. That might work. That might work right there. Get on the dance floor tonight, ma. I'm slow dragging. I can't fast dance because I ain't got no rhythm. I'm slow dragging and I can't fast dance. I'm slim thick and I weigh 440. That's not slim thick, baby. That's full heavyweight. That's heavyweight. That's heavyweight. That's not slim thick. That's not slim thick. That's heavyweight. That's not slim thick. Let me see who on my phone. Somebody's upset that I'm flirting with the queens. I'm not flirting with the queens. We just having a brotherly sisterly chat. We just having a brotherly sisterly chat. That's why wife number one has an attitude. 
Wife number one has an attitude, lady. She said, y'all got to stop talking to me about your sizes and shapes. Wife number one. Wife number one ain't feeling it. Well, she better not come to Nandy's Knowledge Cafe tonight, because when that slow music come on, turn the lights down low. <laughs> Grab me some cinnamon. Turn the lights down low. I'm going right in the middle. I'm going. In fact, in fact, I'm a slow drag with two queens. I ain't never done that before. Can I slow drag with two queens? Can I please slow drag with two queens tonight? Where are my two Detroit queens who want to slow drag with the print? I'm slow dragging with two extra five thick in the thigh queens. One hand around her waist and the other hand around. Can we do that, ladies? I'm slow dragging with two. I'm King Kong. Who keep all the women calling now? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not answering this phone. Five foot four, one eighteen. Five foot four, one eighteen. Five foot four. That mean you're a little short, little. Little cutie, but the 118, I don't think you got enough meat on your bones, my sister. Much respect. I think you, I think, uh, I think you, one eight, you ain't got no meat. Where's the beef? 118, that's kind of, that's kind of skinny. That's, that's kind of starvation. That's kind of, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, now that one, that five three one thirty five, that might be saying something right there. Now that's a little bit more. That's a little bit more thickums right there. That five three one thirty five, but that that one eighteen, I don't know. Five seven one ninety eight. Ouch. Okay, we getting we getting heavy, but it all depends how you wear it, baby. Shout out to the four figure queens. They know how to feed you better and love you better anyway. Four figure queens can take any woman's man. Where my four figure sisters at? Shout out to the four figure sisters. Where all the four figure sisters? Make some noise. Don't sleep on the four figure queens. They know how to love you better and feed you better. Oh yes. Oh, yes, full figure queen. Behind the bedroom, they are the queens. Full figure queens are the queens of the bedroom. You better believe it. You better believe plus, plus size women. Plus, behind closed doors, the plus size women rule. Behind closed doors. I wouldn't know, though. I wouldn't know. I would not know at all, brothers and sisters. I would not know at all. Don't do us like that, Doc. Don't do who? The extra skinnies? Sister Hanera Abuno was in the building. Five, eight. Will you ever date me? Who is me? Come on, we got to get back to the consciousness, ladies. We got to get back to the con where the, where the consciousness at. We got to get out of there. And we handle all this at Nandy's. When I slow drag with two queens at Land Nandy's tonight. What's good HBCU for black male development? Any HBCU. We got to support all the HBCUs. 5, 8, 220. It all depends how she wear that, though. It all depends how she wear that 220. Because some of the four-figure queens, they be real proportioned. So it all depends on how she wear that. See, some brothers are scared of the extra thick queens because they can't handle that. Some brothers are scared of the extra thick queens because they can't handle that. Some brothers are scared of the extra thick queens. They can't handle that. See, they ain't got that old goon power. See, I got that old goon power. I got that old goon power. I don't care. Anyway, let's stay focused. Consciousness overcooked. What books would you recommend us to read? Okay, let's talk about books to read. Let's talk about books to read. I sound, I sound, I'm blocking you. Uh, you need to start having a monthly honey hour. I like that. I like that. A monthly honey hour, King Kong Alicious and the e Tune Day Queendom. I like that. A monthly honey hour. See, them the type of queens I need, the ones with the ideas. I need queens full of ideas. A monthly Monthly Honey Hour. I can't wait till the For Sisters Only book come out. It's going to be bananas. I can't wait for the For Sisters Only book 
Honey Tour. The For Sisters Only Honey Tour with King Kong Alicious. Lord have mercy. Lord have the Ifa Tunde Queendom. It's going to go crazy. When I drop the For Sisters Only book and do my For Sisters Only Honey Tour, we must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused, brothers. Don't worry about that, my brother. I'm not going to dance with your queen. Or you got to send me a picture. Text me a picture of your queen, my brother. It's all about the brotherhood. Brotherhood. I will never violate the brotherhood. Send me a picture of your queen, a close-up on the face. And if she try to flirt with me tonight at Nandy's Cafe, I'm going to tell her your king that already sent me your picture. Put your tongue back in your mouth. You are taken. And if you say, if you go any further, I'm going to tell them that you in here trying to get the cookie crush from King Kong. So my dear brothers, don't worry about it. Just text me the picture. I promise you, my brother, text me her name and her picture. And if she tries to pull up on the prince, I'm going I'm to I'm 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 put her in her place. And then I'm going to text you and let you know that your queen was going behind your back trying to get the cookie crush with King Kong. I got you, my brothers. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. Am I my brother? Brothers keeper, yes, I am. I don't like sisters who do hard work and brothers wrong. I'm going to keep it real, ladies. See, the problem with some, some sisters is y'all never really, y'all never really commit to the man. Y'all just deal with him because he all you can get right now. But the minute you can turn him in for an upgrade, the minute, I'm going to tell you how a lot of sisters work. So brothers, you got to be careful. Brothers, you got to be careful because you got a lot of sisters who act like they committed to you but they only committed to you because you're the best they can do brothers are you listening to me my brothers are you listening to me my my brothers you got a lot of brothers a lot of sisters who act like they committed to you my brother but she not committed to you you just the best she can do right now and the minute she can upgrade the minute she can upgrade she will trade your ass in and won't even leave won't even give the keys back she will trade your ass in let's say you a subaru brother you might be a subaru brother you might be a subaru brother. You got your little mcdonald's job side hustle at walmart you a subaru brother she will trade you in for a chevy brother she'll trade you in for a chevy brother you feel me and then she'll date the chevy brother for a couple years she'll date the chevy brother for a couple years and will trade his ass in for that Mercedes Benz brother and she'll date that Mercedes Benz brother for a couple years and get him all wrapped up she'll date the Mercedes Benz brother and get him all wrapped up and that Lucy Goosey and then she'll trade him in for the Lamborghini brother oh yes Sisters be upgrading on the down low and don't even tell you. Sisters be upgrading. Brothers, can I get a black fist if a brother know what I'm talking about? Can I get a black fist if there's a brother who understand what I'm talking about where sisters act like they committed to you, but they really looking to trade you in for an upgrade? They trying to trade in that 1987 relationship for a 2024 relationship. They trying to trade in that 2015 relationship for a 2024 relationship. They all up in Nandy's Cafe with Dr. Umar. They all up in Nandy's Knowledge Cafe trying to trade in that 2023 relationship for a brand new 2024 King Kong Consciousness extended cab version. They want the King Congalicious jet black six three and three quarters Philly beard. Ver- Brothers know what I'm talking about. See, when the bro- brothers trade in the queens, we dogs. When the brothers tra- trade in the queens, we left them. When the brothers trade in the queens, we abandoned them. When the brothers trade in the queens, we did them dirty. When the brothers trade in the queens, we left them with the kids. But when the queen trade in the king, 
don't nobody say nothing. When that woman leave that man, don't nobody say nothing about that was wrong. When that woman leave that man, they be saying, he must have did something wrong. He must have been cheating. He must not been paying the bills. He must not been helping with the children. We got a double standard. When the brother upgrades, he wrong. When the brother upgrades, he used her. When the brother upgrades, he ain't got no character. When the brother upgrades, he ain't got no integrity. But when that woman upgrade, when she trade in that 1997 relationship for a 2024, when she trade in that 2005 relationship for a 2023, when she trade in that 2013 relationship for a 2022, don't nobody say nothing. Ladies, we got to deal with the double standard. If I'm going to get on the queen, if I'm going to get on the kings, I got to get on the queens. If I'm going to get on the kings, I got to get on the queens. If I'm going to get on the kings, I got to get on the queens. Ladies. Ladies. So do they not be doing everything you said? Yes, they do. Brothers be guilty, but sisters be more guilty. Not more guilty. Sisters be as guilty. Coppin State University, that will be a free event. I'm waiting for the details. Coppin State University, March 13th, will be a free event. Morehouse College, March 18th, free event. Florida A&M University, FAMU, Black Psychology. I'm hanging out the whole week in Tallahassee. I'm hanging out the whole week in Tallahassee. And my brothers, I'm going to tell you this right now. If your woman tells you she wants to be part of a polyamorous relationship, Pack your shit and run. If a woman tells you she want to be part of a polyamorous relationship, that goose done been all over the city. Ain't no woman running around trying to be in no polyamorous relationship, brother. I'm telling you that. If she say, listen, let's do polyamory. You can have who you want. I'm going to have who I want. That's one goose you do not want to seduce. That is one loose goose you do not want to seduce. That is one loose goose. Back to the book recommendation. Thank you, Sister Vivica 0810. I hope that means August the 10th. Are you a lioness? Okay, book recommendations. Read everything from Dr. Amos Wilson. Read, read everything from Dr. Amos Wilson. Read everything from Dr. Amos Wilson. Read everything from Dr. Claude Anderson. Read everything from Dr. Claude Anderson. Read everything from Dr. Yusuf Ben Yakinin. Read everything from Dr. Ivan Van Sertema. Read everything from Shake and to Jope. Read everything from Dr. John Henry Clark. Read everything from Chancellor Williams. Oh, yes. Make sure you read Philosophy and Opinions of the Most Honorable Marcus Garvey, Volume 1. Make sure you read Philosophy and Opinions of the Most Honorable Marcus Garvey, Volume 2. Make sure you read Philosophy and Opinions of the Most Honorable Marcus Garvey, Volume 3. Make sure you read Garvey and Garveyism by Queen Mother Amy Jakes Garvey. Make sure you read The Course of African Philosophy by the Most Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. Make sure you read Race First, The Organizational and Ideological Struggles of Marcus Garvey and the UNIA from the late Professor Dr. Tony Martin who I had my first HBCU lecture with. My first HBCU lecture was at North Carolina Central. Where my North Carolina Central Africans at? Where my HBCU North Carolina Central Africans at? Where my HBCU North Carolina Central Africans at? My very first HBCU lecture was at HBCU North Carolina Central with Dr. Renoko Rashidi, who is now an ancestor, and Dr. Tony Martin, who is now an ancestor. I have a black boyfriend. Wait a minute. I have a black boyfriend. We sometimes agree on what you say, but not everything. Let me say this to you, my beautiful African sister. Let me say this to you, my beautiful African sister. Let me say this to you. I don't need you to agree with everything I say. I'm not looking to make robots. I'm looking to make revolutionaries. I don't need you to agree with everything I say. I'm looking 
to make revolutionaries. I'm not looking to make robots. I don't need you to agree with everything I say. Melanin drip, melanin drip. I'm looking to make revolutionaries. I'm not looking.